Hello and welcome wherever you're watching. This is Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Everton and they take on Norwich City. Yeah, thanks Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? You, they could get the upper hand in this one. Enjoy the game. And here's how Everton line up. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 40. And in with a real chance. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it, otherwise it goes over. Tom Tribul. Well, for Everton, you have to say it was a great performance against Crystal Palace. What are your expectations for this match, Lee? Well, the last game was tight. They got the 2-1 win. They got too much quality for me. They're going to win this game again today. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season. Highly competitive, especially at the summit. Yeah, plenty of teams in the hunt hoping to lift the trophy at the end of the season. I think most fans, Derek, particularly the neutrals like me and you, love a close race. Nobody likes to see a team run away with it. And news of a goal at Anfield, here's Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. Corner, kick played over. Pookie. Can they hit on the break? Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. And on the ball, Tribul. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Lee. What do you anticipate seeing from him? And passing with a velvet touch. Terrific block there. Lost possession. And providing width. Magnificent defending. You've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Gliding through the gears. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Mario Vrancic. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Ward Prowse. Mario Vrancic. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Can they, can they take the lead here? Still possibilities. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp at the second time of asking, but first time around, it was a good deal more complicated. Oh, it was a fabulous save initially. He gets the ball in the end with great relief. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Bearing excellent vision. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. 
He's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Back in business, then, and Everton Everton's with the advantage. Goal. Number 20, Bernard. Puki. Making progress. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And a very good challenge. Use of a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Mesut Ozil. He was on the end of a good cross and directed the ball back across the keeper. 32 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Power. Or is it going to end up being productive for them? Fine cross into the middle. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Everton's stats for possession, not great, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Now they've lost it. Mario Vrancic. Aarons. Going well. He's in control of the situation. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. As you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job. Get behind the ball and save it. Aaron's Strength and control, a big part of his game. to say he's made a right mess of that he's tried to place it Derek but he couldn't place it farther from the goal if he tried the referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of time. they've regained possession power the first half here comes to an end I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. of the keeper's eyes and the whites of as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway over the touchline for a throw in They might be able to get in now. And now waiting to pounce. Must score! It's in! They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort, and he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. So, 2-0 now. Emiliano Buendia. Strong play here. Gliding through the gears. This looks promising. 
But a shocking pass, really. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier He might be able to make it through. Richarlison might still be. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, let's see that again. It's a decent save from the keeper, but it bounces back into play. Where were his defenders? The strikers there pushes it into the net. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. Pookie. Giving them a different option by moving in field. And now it is there for him. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. No short. of goals on this match 3-1 well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Jaime Barreiro oh nice ball Richarlison foiling them effectively and on the ball Tribul Emiliano Buendia, Mario Vrancic. And on the ball, Vrancic. Buendia, individual quality coming to the fore. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Easy peasy for the goalkeeper. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. On the ball, Richarlison. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. He must finish! Substitution time it is. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAdally. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 66 minutes played. 3-1. Cheers again, Alan. And dispossessed. But he took care of it defensively. Richarlison. Crossing possibilities. A glorious chance. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. News of a goal in the Brighton game. Alan McAdally with details. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 70 minutes played. 1-1. Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. Maneuvering his way forward. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in.
Thompson. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Bernard with it. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, it fizzled out. Really a very poor ball. Well, that's one for them to pursue. He's in position. How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. And over comes the corner. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And then... There you go, in the back of the net. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Punching it clear. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. He's driven in the corner. What a vital intervention. That's a routine take. And Leitner with it. And on the ball, Vrancic. Tom Tribul. Buendia. It might be on for them. Aarons. Emiliano Buendia. And he knows he must dump it away. And clears his lines. Real danger. Really close to worrying the scoreboard operator. No, it's worth a try, though, but when he looks at the position he is in, he'll be disappointed he didn't hit the target. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Like that. Aaron's. The fourth official has indicated... And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. And on the ball, Vrancic. And Leitner with it. Mario Vrancic. Crossing possibilities. And it's with Moritz Leitner. And there it is, the final whistle. They might be able to get in now. 